Hey, what's up guys and gals? Episode 24 here and thank you. Look at this. 55 grand. Oh yeah. So why did I do that? Well, first of all, because I need more money for sure. Let me do another one. Alright everyone, and there you go. So I wanted to just kind of not fast forward it, but yeah, I guess fast forward it to make that a little quicker for you. Now, why am I doing that? Well, here we go. We have our harvester here. He's harvested this whole field up to what has grown. There's a little splotch there, and we'll get to that later. And then, of course, that guy is making the field. Although, I do think I forgot to fertilize it, so I'm going to have to do that, guys. I completely forgot. My bad, my bad. I know you were probably shouting at the screen, but it's okay. Um, here's what I want to do, everyone. I want to definitely buy something now this is a mod but again i don't use tons of mods but i do like them um because i use them for things that are like i think are missing in the game that should be there i don't just use them to you know cheat or anything like that so there is a mod that i like and i'm trying to look for it what it basically is wait, yeah placeables there we go right there we go this is called the marhu mish station and so what this is, let me double click on that. So this is going to help facilitate the issue of, right over here, the issue of the cows and feeding the cows and so forth. So let's get this done. I think this might be a good spot, actually. Yeah, that would be perfect, I think. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. But we also are going to need a trailer. And that trailer, I think, will be here. Yeah, so it's a Fortuna FTD 150. The reason is because this actually can get mixed rations, um, and that's very important for what you're going to do. So let's just make sure to get that. And they're very inexpensive and not in a cheaty way. I think that's pretty good. Let's just reset that vehicle and bring it on over. I think I might reset my tractor as well. There we go. Okay, perfect. Let me just go find it there. There we go. All right, where is my, there it is, my Leo Fortuna. Okay, and so what's the purpose of this, guys? Well, you know that mixing wagon isn't the greatest thing because, first of all, the one that I have can only do 18,000 units of silage. Now, of course, the bales come in 4,000, so if I put one straw, that's 4,000. If I put one hay, that's another 4,000, comes up to eight. Now, if I put some silage, it'll make it uneven, as you saw. And so what this little power plant thing does, it's pretty cool. You just dump all the bales in there. Um, you can dump hay bales. You can also dump just plain hay. You can put straw bales or just plain straw and silage. And so what it does after that, it mixes it and it gives you the proper rationing. And so it fills up this. You can't use any trailer. You have to use a specific one that accepts that load. After that is done, you are good, guys. You don't really need to do much. You'll be able to fill up your cows. And that was my problem, that I had like over 100 cows, and I couldn't justify keep feeding them because it was just so difficult. I couldn't, you know, handle it. And so let me give you an idea of how it works. Let me, I should have put that in a better spot. Oh, of course, my little gymnastic little thingy over here. Okay, let me just leave him there. Let me switch attachments. You're stuck. All right, let me switch attachments to the round bale grabber. And of course, this is in game, this is in a mod. Okay, so let me show you what I'm doing over here. So let's grab one. I think it might be a little better with square bales because they're easier to grab. Oh, did I just grab two? I did. Okay, so as you see the signs over here, you can see this one is straw. The middle one is grass, of course, and the last one is silage. So look, all you do, you just drive forward, boom, you drop it, come on, drop, there we go, and that's it. And now let me show you what's going on here. You see the leveler there, it shows you the level of straw. Each one holds, I believe, 50,000 units, it kind of grinds it up, brings it up here. Same thing with grass, 50,000, 50,000, so it holds a lot. And uh, yes, there's a little, uh, little UI that pops up, shows you how much straw I have, see, 16%. Um, I could do a few things, it's cool, uh, but I gotta put all the supplies in, of course. So let's just do that. I think I'm gonna spend the episode doing this so you guys can see how it works out. 
and you let me know what you think about it. I hope 17 has something like this. I really do. It's very convenient, but it's also very realistic because, of course, these real farmers are not going to use all these silly wagons. I guess maybe the ones that can't afford it. I can't afford... Oh, okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm in trouble. The ones, I guess, who can't afford this big stuff or this little factory plant thing. But I guess the ones that can will use something like that you know and so if we're well off in the game to do it why not right and so of course I'm gonna get my two bales here close it on up and bring it over here alright I think we're good I just want to show kinda of how it works and why it's beneficial so I have 16 wait 8,000 8,000 so I have 16 that that's already more than almost that can fill that can fill 18,000 so in here already I have see right there 16,000 so let me get all the silage that I can let me do it like this let me leave this tractor guys I'll leave this over here we'll search this guy off and we'll attach this to the trailer and use it to fill our big trailer well it's not huge I'm um, I don't know how much this holds off the top of my head we're gonna have to go check and see but I think it's a good amount Let's see it says zero percent so I really don't know the amount we'll figure it out we'll figure it out don't worry about it all right hope you guys and gals are doing great I hope you're doing excellent I hope you're recognizing today the value in yourself I sometimes forget that and I think it's good to remind each other about that because we're all here for a purpose we're all here to do something good and if you guys lose sight of that it could be a little daunting sometimes I forget so don't worry I'll remind you I'll remind you oh 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 baby not good okay okay maybe this wasn't a good idea <laughs> okay well ooh, actually this is pretty nice now, can you fill up, buddy, what's in the tray? Oh, you can. Ha, ha, ha. So, if you guys don't know or have not seen past episodes, this is also a Marhu mod. Now, you may see this is ridiculous. This is so cheaty. Well, actually, I've said this in other episodes, but this is a real honest-to-goodness implement. This is used, I believe, I think in northern United States, northern uh, farms, and probably in the Midwest as well. And it's an actual, real life honest to goodness tool uh oh no okay now I'm kind of stuck okay there we go it's a little better now all right let me just no no <laughs> it wants to empty it because it knows I could leave this now this is a godsend guys because you can actually transport silage now which you couldn't be able to do wasn't that crazy that like you could not do that in this game like you should be able to transport silage put it in a trailer so I am I'm going to say right now that 100% that is going to be in Farming Simulator 17. Not because I was told, but because, come on. I, I, I think that's a small thing that was forgotten. I'm surprised a patch wasn't put in to fix it. But I mean, you should be able to carry silage in a trailer. I think that's pretty basic. It's the only thing you can't that should be, like, moved around, you know? Okay. So, oh, oh snap, oh snap. All right. Every once in a while, because um, this game only records with one recorder that I use, one recording program. Once in a while, it's it's just kind of difficult, and it, the frame rate just goes down. It only happens with this game, and so I have to reset the recording a little bit. Not a big deal, but just let you know if you see a little cut there, that's why. Okay. So unload. So guys, this is unloading it looks like it's unloading on the floor but it is not It is actually unloading into the machine and there we go so I am dumb because I didn't check how much it'll tell us right here okay so you see the silage 35 percent full we, we we just did one thing and not even close to, to full guys 35 percent look at that look at that and look at the total mix ration that I have in there one percent look at that one percent Wow. And so it does take time. I think if you accelerate time a little bit, let's see. Oop, wrong one. Okay, see that? 2%. And so it's going to take a little bit of time. So see how that makes it not so OP? I think that's really good. 
I think that makes it worthwhile and so it's you know you're not just cheating all the money in and so forth so I think that's good it makes you work it makes you work that's why people love Marhu and Marhu and all of the mods because they're very well balanced very well made very well thought out and so yeah that's a fantastic thing let me reset this thing over here and while that silage stuff is getting done we'll be right back to get that done but I want to do something over here and what I want to do I almost forgot I almost had a brain fart but there we go I want to fertilize the rest of the field which I have forgotten because I'm a klutz I'm a super klutz and yeah that should have been done but I don't know why I didn't all this stuff to do at this farm guys all this stuff to do all right, so let's fill this baby up. Don't worry about the money. I know you may be like, oh my gosh, I only have 17,000, but you have to see progression. Progression's what matters. We're gonna get our count money up in a few more episodes. We've gotta get more cows coming in, and with that mixer, that's gonna help us so much. Like, night and day. It's gonna be so much more helpful, like I said, with that huge mixer. It'll allow us to put huge amounts of mixed silage in there. Um, in a time remember it buffs in there so it stays in there and yeah that's really helpful so remember you can fertilize a field um, even after the crop is grown but I am going to let this guy get some work done so let me just put this baby over here somewhere and there we go that should catch yep very good and so it'll be able to catch all the stuff that's growing and not growing and so forth. And, of course, we wasted a little bit, but we're going to re this field. Don't worry about it. How many fields do we have? We still have one. We will expand in time. Again, the beginning of the game is always the hardest. And I'm sure there are better ways of playing this, but this is the way I like to play, and I'm having fun. Let us see what's going on over here. All right, look at that, guys. 9,500. So it's still moving still moving and you see the percentages of silage and hay let me just speed it up a little so you can see they are going down and so that is working and so that's fantastic I love that and of course I could put more silage in there but I might hold off and why didn't I move that more I should have moved that a little bit more just a little bit just a little bit just a little bit okay let me drop that down there. Let me grab my little grabby grab. That's what I called it in the other episode. You guys remember that? Did you see that episode? Grabbing the grabby grab. This is a grabby grab. Come on. What else can it be? All right. Let me grabby grab some. Ooh, okay. Bad, bad, bad. Yeah, my grabbing skills are not up to par. This may take a while. It's okay. What I like is you don't really need to drop it. You just put it in there and you're good. You open it back up. Remember, if you do have the square bales, you can do two at a time a lot easier. I could probably do it too. You guys are probably more skilled than I am and can do it a lot better, a lot quicker. Let me just keep going with the time there. I'll do a few more. I do want to fill it up. We are running out of grass, so we're going to have to bale some of that stuff. Of course. And let me see if I can grab these two. So it's not that easy to grab two. It is possible. Actually, let me do it like this. I'm gonna let go, go up a little, and grab them in the middle. Yeah, there we go. That's what you want to do, guys. I don't know if that's a thing. I don't know if people know about that. Maybe it's super popular, and I'm just the one who doesn't know that little trick. But yeah, I'm I'm sure everyone knows it except for me. All right, and I think this will be our last one and we should be happy with that so we'll be able to get 18,000 of mixed rations in every trailer um, scoop basically as I mean if we have that much stuff going on ooh, ooh, ooh. it's almost fall okay almost fall all right let us see how much 18 grand oh 11 grand my bad once we get 18 we'll do that and of course this is all farmed out or this is all grown. And there we go. Alright, and we'll start that. 
and we're moving guys we're moving we're improving moving and improving so yeah i think that was the thing i i completely forgot to do the, the harvest stuff on here how could i forget how could i forget all right did you finish really no you didn't you didn't do the sliver over here did not do the sliver right there right yeah it's just the ending sliver it's okay they'll get there the last thing to go okay not you that's you're you're different you you should probably go in your little home over here you should probably grab your little buddy which is i'm grabbing you on the wrong side and then go over there all right so let me grab this guy and then we'll head over to the little marhu factory the mixer it's actually called and then from there we'll be able to do what we need to do which is Fill this baby up. Okay. We're still at 12. Okay. Let me just do a quick there. And I'll meet you guys back when we have 18,000. It won't take that long. Okay. So in real life, guys, it probably took 30 seconds. It didn't take that long. Okay. So we're at 20,166. So again, this thing can only fill up 18,000. Right? Just like that. Just like that uh, mixer over there. But then again, here's what I can do. And I'm going to show you. It's really easy to fill up. I don't need to scoop anything. I don't need to measure anything at all. The whole thing is done for me. There's my timer. There's my timer. Let me just turn that off. Okay. I should be able to drive right under here. And it should be able to empty fairly quickly. Again, it's already pre-mixed. All I got to do is dump it to the cows. And now think about this. 18 grand right there. 18 grand units. And so we are going to dump it right over here, right to the cows. Look at that. Oh, snap. Is it filling? Okay, let, let me just see if it's filling. All right, mixed rations, 20,600. Okay, good, 23,000. Okay, so it's good. Yeah, so that was empty, guys. That was empty. Now, look, 27.8, and let's go back. And see, the other one I would be scooping bales, and I would be exchanging machines to get, look, all this is all I'm doing. I'm just literally driving out. Now, of course, only 3,000 more was made, but if you let this go, guys, it fills up. You could do four, five, six, seven loads of these easily, easily, and feed all your cows and keep them fed in a very logical and concise way. So if you like this, if you like this mod, if this is exciting to you, maybe you've heard of it and you just like the fact of seeing it. Look at that, 30 right there. 27, now it's 30, see, look at that. That is amazing, that is amazing. And thank you so much, like I said, I appreciate you guys and gals watching. Don't forget, be hopeful, and we'll see you next time.